on our Independence Line. John, good morning for Michael Schwer. Uh, good morning. Uh, I, for one, am sick and tired of all these uh, Jews coming on C-SPAN and other stations and pushing us to go to war against our Muslim friends. They're, they're willing to spend the last drop of American blood and treasure to get their way in the world. They have way too much power in this country. People like Wolfowitz and Fife and the other neocons that Jewed us into Iraq, and now we're going to spend the next 60 years rehabilitating our soldiers. I'm sick and tired of it. John in uh, Franklin, New York. Any comments? Yeah, I, I think that, uh, of course, American foreign policy is eventually up to the American people. Uh, the w one of the big things that we've not been able to discuss in this country for the last 30 years is our policy toward the Israelis. Uh, whether we want to be involved in fighting Israel's wars uh, in the future is something that Americans should be able to talk about. They may vote yes. They may want to see their kids killed in Iraq or Yemen or somewhere else to protect Israel. Uh, but the question is we need to talk about it. Ultimately, Israel as a country is of no particular worth to the United States. It doesn't you mean strategic, uh, strategically? We have no, they have no resources we need. Their manpower is minimal. Um, their association with us is um, a negative for the United States. Now, that's, that's a fact. Uh, what you want to do about that fact is entirely different. But to, for anyone to stand up in the United States and say that our support for Israel doesn't hurt us in the Muslim world or our support for Hosni Mubarak's dictatorship doesn't hurt us, is to just defy reality. Let's hear from Mount Vernon, New York. Richard on our Republican line. Good morning.